just to start off all nike by you purchases come in a white nike box it just has across the front nike by you it's white and it has black lettering on it um if you turn it around it has swoosh right here across the front of it it does have nike by and it doesn't have my name on the box because i didn't personally purchase this pair so i'm not going to bother showing it to you all but um i will show you the bottom of the box here so yeah what i really do like about it, it is that it is a slide out box me wearing a gray school um and mostly women's size sneakers i don't ne necessarily get a lot of slide out boxes so that was a nice touch and here's the tissue paper let me just take it out to show to you all so i thought it was pretty cool and it's, it is a bit wrinkled because for whatever reason when you slide the box out let me know if you all have that um the same issue it kind of like um grabs the paper as you're doing it so it's not like a smooth tray as i thought it would be and here you go it just has a lot of nike information on it as far as nike inc one barrowman drive the address of it in oregon so beaverton oregon and then it also has like name shoe name you know just different things on it have a nike day nike inc so it is pretty cool tissue paper and yeah, so let's get into these sneakers. Hello everyone, welcome back to Life is Aisha. And today I'm back with another What's in the Box Wednesday. So um, let's just jump right in because I am giving you two sneakers today. So I did do two designs on Nike by You. These are actually birthday gifts. So yes, this video is a bit long overdue, but better late than never, right? So the first pair, um, if you know anything about, I think her name is, I wish just say Kimmy because it's like what you first see when you see her Instagram name. But I think her name is actually pronounced Kamisis. But don't point me on that. I will have her Instagram name right here. So you all can follow her and check her out. If I'm not mistaken, she's based out of Houston, Texas. And I love the city of Houston. Um, you can go back a couple of vlogs and see when I visited Texas just on a whim. But Houston is my favorite city of Texas. So this is the sneaker right here. I pulled these out on Air Max Day. Follow me on Instagram. Soul of Kicks. Then you all already have seen these. But this was a pair that was customized. Best friend, um, she actually was planning on getting me a different pair of sneakers and that fell through so then i told her to get this other pair it was a pair of jordan ones for whatever reason the shipper didn't send them to her so she was just like what do you want and i'm like you know what i have two pairs of sneakers in my nike cart um on the nike by you website which is formerly formerly nike id if you know and think about customizing sneakers on nike and she was like, okay, well, just send it to me and I'll buy them for you. I compared to Kamisi's design. And the only thing that I did different was the back customization. But I'm going to get right into that. So as you can see, the sneaker is this nice royal blue. I believe the color is, um, I have a couple notes here. Let me go to them. It says actually game royal. So this royal blue color. Then you have this gold color, which I will be referring to as honeycomb per Nike's website. Also, you have this emerald green, which is actually rainforest. You also have red, and it is going to be university red. See this gold here, also here, and also outlining the sock liner. It is that gold honeycomb color. So, showing you right here, and I'm also going to show you out of the sneaker as well. And I just think that's pretty dope. Um, as you can see, it is a satin material, so it's has a nice sheen to it but it's not too too shiny and it's also very plush like it's really soft to the touch here right here the material here um, it is a nice suede and it is in that rainforest green color and i think it's really nice um it's very vibrant so this sneaker can easily transition to fall because you have some nice fall hits in here as well the swoosh obviously is sale and also the midsole of the sneaker right here in the air bubble so the airbags that that is the same university red on the eyelets and the stock lining as i mentioned earlier oh and i forgot to mention this is the mud guard of the sneaker here and that is in game royal just to the back up you do see ish on here which is my nickname hence aisha but um that's on the look left side of the sneaker i had to turn it this way so i could remember <laughs> it's on the left of the sneaker and i'm going to pull out the other sneaker as well as you can see on the back of this one it is 93 which is the year that i was born let me just show you both of these side by side 
so here you go um i thought it was a super dope touch her original pair does have if i'm not mistaken create q20 so create um quarantine 20 of 2020 it originally came out last year i i don't know why but i was so like late to getting them i happened to like google them because i couldn't find them on nike anywhere uh, of course i think she had me in her bio when they first released but of that was like, a, you know, a year ago. So I couldn't find it like that. So once I did a Google search, I was able to come across the link. Funny enough, if I can't wear sneakers, another good person to follow on Instagram, a black woman. Um, I have her information right here as well. I've mentioned her on a couple of videos back, but she definitely is always sharing a lot of good information. During Air Max month, which was the month of March, she shared that these were still available to purchase. So um, if you are looking for these, I will have the link in my description box. But um, here's just another look at them going to give you a little 360 of them so we can get right into the pair that you probably all came here for and um i did wear these as i mentioned so the bottom bottom is not um super clean but you know we gotta wear our sneakers also i didn't mention the out the outsole is clear so this is a clear icy bottom and it does have hints of the university red at the very top and also around the heel of a sneaker so enough about these let's go straight into the next pair also before i get into this to the next sneaker i don't know why i forgot to mention it but i am we wearing a sneaker from one of my soul sisters she is also on youtube so instagram she's kicks for fresh she goes by k fresh and i will have all her information on the screen and also in my description box as well um you can see the very top of it but you can't see the whole bottom so let me just show it to you all by design on it it says fresh by design make sure you check out her website and everything um it's a really dope tee i am gonna put you know style it with an outfit today so the next pair and you all have already seen the nike box and everything so i'm not going to show all the details of it but we have another nike by you box here this pair is an air force one and i love air force ones i'm so happy to have this pair and yeah, let's just get right into it. But with this pair, I wanted it to be very different. I wanted to take a step outside the box and just really give you all something that you probably haven't seen. So here we go. Isn't she? Because this is yes, yeah, pink in it. I'm going to refer to her, refer to the sneaker as she. Isn't she just beautiful? Like, come on, <sighs> y'all. When I saw it in person, I'm like, the pictures don't do them justice. The design on the website didn't do them justice. And it was just amazing to see. I'm like, you know what? Y'all have a, a winner in me. And now, don't get me wrong. I have customized sneakers before years ago. But, I mean, it's been a long time. So, to get my creative juices back flowing... Um, on this sneaker was just just super exciting so what I did was I played around with the materials a little bit because they had different offerings of the types of leather so they had ripple leather they had um, smooth leather and right here on the toe box of the sneaker I did get this ripple leather because we all know Air Force Ones crease really badly and I'm probably not gonna wear these that much because I'm I know I'm gonna wear them at least once I did do the ripple leather and this color is actually um magic flamingo but it is just like a light um pink a baby pink color let's get into the tongue of it as you can see i really like this gold honeycomb color because i use the exact same color on my um air max ones so here you go it's the same color on the tongue and also in this mid paneling of the sneaker area here surrounding the toe box area which they refer to as the tip of the sneaker it is in game royal and as you come up the eyelids as well it is the same game royal color and also on the back tab is in royal game royal as well the sneaker it does have a quite a bit of blue in it i just i don't own a lot of sneakers with royal blue i wanted to add that to my customization the whoosh and the midsole i do have this thermal green color which is just an olive green to me but that's the official name of it and my mission for this sneaker was to not have any white areas. Like, as not you can least, see. we're going to get into this really cute, I think of it as, as a salmon pink, but it is actually Magic Ember. That's the color of, this, of the laces. 
and also of the the lining of the sneaker also you will see that it does have a black insole here in white i don't know why they didn't let me change the color of that but they didn't and i definitely probably would have just looking at the sneaker got it um probably this gold color the honeycomb color but you know can't win them all so yeah i had to get a gum bottom on this sneaker because i love gum bottom sneakers that's one of my favorite things about a lot of Air Force Ones that came out like in the early 2000s was that they utilized the gum bottom so frequently. Um, and of course, I can't re can't forget that I also have the exact same um, customization of the name on these. So you have each on this sneaker. You have 93 on the back of this one. So here you go. Another little 360 shot of these. Super excited about these. Yeah, so let me all know what you think about these. Like, have you taken a spin with the Nike by you? Customizing your own pair? Um, are you a fan of it? I honestly do feel like they should give more colors. I just remember customizing sneakers on there when I was much younger, probably like middle high school. And the color options were more vast. I just think... Um, Overall, now they do limit you more with different things you can do. If you all can recall the dunks way back when everybody was frustrated because they couldn't purchase their customized pair. Um, they just limit you on different things and also on the materials because I would have liked to use a couple different things. But leather, you can't go wrong with it. Um, like I said, it's super soft and buttery. This was the only area that I use ripple leather on. Everything else is the smooth leather. Super and excited about this pair. It was just, it was so nice. And to get these as gifts, it's just been everything. Last but not least, I also want to show that she did get me another gift as well. Um, we go all out for birthdays. We're birthday people. So obviously the it's going to be returned. But you know, I am pretty loved, especially around my birthday. Everyone knows like my birthday is super important to me. <laughs> She got me this as well, and it is one of the Oliver Gal um, canvas art. So it was su I was super excited to get it. It does have the off-white um, blazer across of it, which I do not own. So I was telling her, I'm like, um, is this a hint that I need to get this sneaker, or is that my gift for next year? <laughs> but now I am on a hunt for them. I do have, um, I am, um, what do you call it? I'm watching a couple of them. The price is super, yeah, it's not in my budget at all. I could get them, but I'm not showing them much out for a pair of, a pair of blazers, especially a pair of Halloween-inspired blazers. Um, why am I jumbled up right now? But, um, yeah, so definitely I'm still looking for these. Hopefully I can get my hands on them. But if not, like I said before, this will be on display in my sneaker room. I'm going to have like other, a lot of other sneaker art and stuff whenever I get one. Um, that's not a plug me of me saying it's coming soon because it's not coming soon but um i've helped you all up enough i know you probably hear tired of hearing me talking so as always remember to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next one thank you for watching